Hey everyone, well I'm back from vacation and I just thought I would show you um, what I took along with me as far as makeup um, and my brushes and then the liquids I carried on with me because I did take my foundation with me. And when I showed my toiletry bag video recently, I had a lot of you ask um, if I had a recent um, travel makeup bag video. I do have a video probably I don't know, it was probably a year ago or so maybe. I will try to remember to link that below, um, but I do also have now a playlist with bags, meaning makeup bags, travel bags, purses, um, so you can definitely find what you're looking for probably there. Um, but anyway, I just thought I would show you because I really tried to condense down what I took this time, and since we were flying, that always um, is something I take in consideration as well. So this is all I took um, makeup-wise. I already showed you the toiletries. Um, so this is my makeup bag. This is a small um, Sonia Kashuk bag that I bought um, sometime I think in the spring or maybe even, I think maybe last year. Um, I wanted to condense it down as much as possible. And then these are the brushes, again, trying to condense them down. And then this is the liquids that I took um, on the airplane. And I also took um, these two Sonia Kashuk palettes on the airplane. But I put a rubber band around them to keep them together. And I put these in my carry-on. One, to save space in here. Not that they take up a lot, but I had this pretty packed. Two, I didn't want them to break. Um, you know, I just thought with some of these darker colors, it may be a mess if it breaks. And then, because I was only carrying these two eyeshadow palettes, I didn't want to be without anything or have to buy something on the ship. So I thought, you know, let me just play it safe, put these in my carry-on. So a closer look here, I took the Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral, which is the matte palette. And then I just purchased this not long before we left. This is the Eye on Neutral Shimmer palette. And honestly, between these two, um, I got every single look that I wanted. Um, I will show you one other product that I use kind of as a base for a different look some nights. Um, but these palettes seriously have, you know, every color I could want. So I was really happy um, because most of the time I'll take a Z palette, usually a smaller one, but I'll put a lot of my MAC shadows in there to get some really good um, matte colors and some neutrals. But this was all I needed, so I um, really enjoyed using both of those. And like I said, didn't take up much space, so that was really great. And then as far as the liquids, um, of course, you know when you fly, this... Um, Container here is a quart size, really thick plastic. I got it off Amazon. Um, it just says Travel Smart there. I don't remember the exact brand or if that was the brand. Um, so I just have my hand sanitizer, a lip balm, a Tide to Go pen, eye drops. Um, I have the hand food um, hand cream. Um, on the way down, I had this in my makeup bag. It's the Rachel K. CC cream. But on the way back, um, the morning we left, I just used this as like kind of, you know, my tinted moisturizer. So I put that in there. And then I have this um, Color Whisper. This is in Pin Up Peach. And then I have my foundation and my concealer. And then I also have on the back here wet ones. I always bring those um, anytime I travel, especially on an airplane. I also had this little sample size of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I had that um, in with my liquids on the way home because, again, um, all I put on was some concealer, the CC cream, and this for the ride home. But I needed to have that out. On the way down, it went in my makeup bag. And then you can just see I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and then the Bourjois um, 123 Perfect Foundation. I've been trying this out for several re weeks, really like it. Um, I just double bagged them, you can see, in a little Ziploc um, bag. And I took these um, in my carry-on because, again, I didn't want anything happening to them. They're glass. I didn't want them to so, break. Okay, moving on to the makeup bag. You can see the size here. And like I said, before we left, I really tried to condense down. Most of the time on vacation, I bring way too much makeup. Especially on a cruise, I don't wear much makeup during the day, if at all. Um, I'll usually wear the CC cream because it has some sun protection in it. And I'll wear some mascara and concealer. And that's it during the day. The only time I wear makeup usually is at night. Okay, so opening it up here, um, um, you can see what it looks like. I really like this one because it does have this small little compartment on the side. And this is great for any of your, like, stick eyeshadow pencils, lip liners, um, eyeliners, mascaras, anything that's kind of in that long stick kind of form. It's great. Um, and like I said, I really packed this as much as I could here. But yet again, I tried to just use... Um, 
you know, the bare minimum. Now, I think on the way down, I did have this in my toiletry bag just because I had room. I always bring this little baby Urban Decay All Nighter, which I didn't even use. And then um, the Sephora um, makeup brush cleaner. This is a great travel size, you know, just a spot clean. But on the way back, because I didn't have the CC cream in there, I just threw it in. So I'm just gonna basically pull everything out, show you what I have. I always travel with the Coastal Scents um, concealer palette. They're actually foundation palettes, but I use them as a concealer. Just because you never know what your skin's going to be doing when you travel to a different climate. And this has plenty of colors in it, so I always carry this and it travels um, really great. I did bring a different foundation. Of course, this is in a plastic container. This is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. Um, just in case, you know, I didn't want the other. I really do like the other, but sometimes it can look a little bit drying on my skin. So never did use this though. Um, I did bring the Gloss in Love, and I forget the name of this one. I think Blink Pink. This is by Lancome. Used that quite a bit. And the lipsticks I brought was um, Warm Me Up by Maybelline. This is a new one I got. Love this. Wore it quite a bit. Of course, I brought the Sonia Kashuk um, Sheer Pink Lust. Wore this on the way down. Wore it a couple nights. And I don't know. I think I might have wore this one time, but this is the NYX Butter Gloss. And um, let's see. It is in Creme Brulee. The e.l.f. Um, Golden Bronzer. I just brought this as my only bronzer because I could use it as a blush if I wanted by mixing all the colors. I could also use it as a highlight. I brought the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder because I use that under my eyes. I bought a um, Maybelline Color Whisper. This is a new one I just bought and it is less for blush. It's okay, I did use it quite a bit during the day. It was just a nice, simple color. I brought the Maybelline um, Color Tattoo. This is in Barely Branded. Um, I had been using this a lot in the summer as a base, so I went ahead and brought it with me because I like pairing this with a matte crease shade. And then, of course, for my brows, I bought the NYX um, Matte Shadow, and this is um, Bare My Soul. Of course, my fingernail broke really short. <laughs> you can see that right on the way back. Um, I did bring the Wet n Wild Color Icon and um, Reserve Your Cabana. I was gonna use it as a highlight. I don't know that I ever even used it. Most of the time, I just used the color in the Golden Bronzer. And this takes up a lot of room, so um, I kinda wish I wouldn't have brought this for this trip. I always bring this little sample size of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so use that every night. Of course, my trusty um, Sue Devitt sharpener, love this. I did bring the YSL, this is pink in Paris, and I used this um, at least once or twice. I tried this for the first time, I thought I'd go ahead and just bring it as a different primer. This is the Tarte um, Clean Slate. I really didn't care for it. Um, it's a silicone primer, but to me, it felt even more oily than a regular silicone primer, um, like say Smashbox, for instance. Um, so did not care for this one at all. Um, my True Match Blush from L'Oreal, love this one. This is in the Baby Blossom. So this was the only blush color I used because I knew I could, if I wanted a more peachy bronze look, I could use the Golden Bronzer. And then, I brought the Rimmel Stay Matte, just in case, um, because I never know in a really humid climate if my face is gonna be more oily. So brought this just in case. I think I only had to maybe use it one time though. So over here, um, I did bring my um, little pointed Q-tips and I put my tweezerman tweezers in there. I did go ahead and bring the Anastasia, the Brow Arch um, stencil that I use once in a while, but I don't even know if I used this, maybe once because um, I'm kind of used to doing them. I do them a little bit different way than I used to, but so I don't even think I used that maybe. I always travel with this. I just really love it for a simple look. Um, this is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Ice Mocha. I brought, um, what is this, the Cella. This is just like a highlighting brow pencil. I think I used this once or, once or twice. I did bring the Jordana Best Lash Extreme just in case I um, really wanted to do up my lashes one night. I think I used this once. And I also brought the L'Oreal Telescopic. I used this um, a couple times, but I ended up really using this little Lights Camera Lashes. So um, I don't know, for some reason, I almost feel like I liked it in this size than the original for some reason. 
Um, did bring the little size of the Seal Waterproof liquid liner. Used that. I brought the Smashbox Brow Tech to go. I always bring this on vacation because it has the gel in one end and the pencil on the other. And sometimes, depending on if the bare spots I have or are more than a powder can kind of fill, I always like to have this with me. So, really like that. And for lip liner, oh, woo. Uh, Mac Whirl, of course, one of my favorites. I brought the Urban Decay Mushroom Liner. Not sure if I used that one. Of course, I brought the Chanel Marine Liner. I use this pretty much every day, so always use that. And let me just say, I have had this since last May, even though I usually only wear it probably six months out of the year, you know, the summer months. I mean, look how long it still is. So this thing will last you forever. Of course, the uh, Milani So Natural or Most Natural liner. This is my all-time favorite lip liner. I have a backup of it now because I think they're getting rid of this kind. I'm not sure, but I think. And then the new um, Jordana, the 12-hour made to last. I brought, bought this recently right before we went in the Espresso. Loved this. Absolutely love this color. It's a very, very deep brown. Stays on a long time really glides on. I highly recommend this. Very inexpensive, but a great liner. And that's it for the makeup bag. Um, might seem a little excessive to some, maybe not enough for others, but like I said, I really tried to pare it down, and this was really all I needed. I didn't find myself wanting anything else. Okay, as for the brushes, um, you may have seen this um, not too long ago in an Instagram um, post I did. I know these are really hard to find, um, not even hardly on eBay or anywhere, so I hate showing it, but some of you I know have this. It's the Lug um, brush holder, and my friend Kristen was nice enough to find this for me. So here it is standing up when it's open, and this is what I loved about this. I could just sit this right here and use the brushes out of it. I had plenty of room you could see to add more, but again, I really tried to condense down. Um, so this was absolutely great for traveling, and it didn't take up much room. Most of the time I use use my Sigma travel containers and I like those but sometimes they can squish the brushes if I have too many large ones in there um, so this was absolutely great now of course I just got home and I have not cleaned these um, so I brought the Sigma um, what is this F80 and pull these out here I'm not gonna really probably name all these this is a Mac blush brush this is a Mac um, I use for bronzing um, a little pencil brush a couple blending brushes and a couple brushes. This was for concealer. This is for shadow, but I ended up not using this at all. It's a Sigma one. And then I always carry this tiny little powder brush. Um, I use this a lot, but especially on vacation because I just mainly powder my T's in and I don't need anything huge. A little Kabuki. And I went ahead and put my travel eyelash curler in there as well. Two eyeliner, or two, I'm sorry, eyebrow or brushes. I don't know why I can't think of that. This is for powder under my eyes. This is for concealer and two more shadow brushes. And that was it. And that's all I needed. Not too much, but it was everything that I needed. So I really hope you enjoyed that. And maybe it even gave you a few tips the next time you travel. Um, I said before, I love um, travel bags, makeup bags, anything like that. I'm always taking a different one depending on the trip, the size of the trip and so forth. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.